Eyes TV English News. I'm Gabby Golme with the news today. First, the headlines. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee celebrates 128th Foundation Day of Indian National Congress. MPCC President says Congress is the only party that can deliver its promise. An Aam Admi Party government's warning, Arvin Kejriwal becomes India's seventh and youngest chief minister. Now the news in details. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee today celebrated the 128th Foundation Day of the Indian National Congress at the Congress Bhavan. Addressing the large gathering, which included several Congress leaders, MPs, ministers, MLAs and party workers, MPCC President Gekhangam said, Congress is the only party that can deliver what it promised to the people and urged the party men to work to strengthen the party for speedy development of Manipur. Describing the Congress party as one of the oldest parties in the world, Gekhangam, who is also the Deputy Chief Minister, spoke about the achievements of the Congress governments in the state. He made a mockery of opposition parties who had been criticizing the Congress party. Gekhangam said, the people of the state know well about these opposition parties and their leaders. The PCC president denied any disagreement between the Congress party and the government in Manipur. Chief Minister Oibobi could not attend the celebration as his flight from Delhi was delayed due to inclement weather and he had to attend the old political parties meeting soon after his arrival. <laughs> Arvind Kejriwal of Aam Admi Party today became the seventh Chief Minister of Delhi. Wearing his trademark white cap, Arvind Kejriwal was sworn in today as Delhi's youngest Chief Minister as an estimated one lakh people cheered for him at Ramdila Medan. The best-spectacled 45-year-old rode the metro to the ceremony. His decision to use public transport echoes his pre-polled promise to end the VIP culture of Delhi's political elite. Describing his one-year-old party's journey to power as nothing short of a miracle, Kejriwal delivered a heartfelt speech after taking his oath. He appealed to his party men never to become arrogant, making governance more transparent and inclusive and checking corruption was what he pitched in a highly effective marketing campaign ahead of the Delhi election. Today, he urged the city to swear that they will never seek or offer a bribe as a sea of supporters roared its ascent. His Aam Admi Party made a stunning electoral debut in the Delhi election, placing second. The ruling Congress was forced into a poor third and is lending external support to his minority government. He asked to be sworn in at the public park so that the Aam Admi or common man could attend the ceremony. The venue he picked is where he railed a historic anti-corruption movement with activist Anna Hazari two years ago. They have been estranged since Kajriwal decided to enter politics. A one-day free anti-vaccination program was held today at Nainasang Community Hall, Tera Lokrak Pamlekai. More than 200 dogs from Tera and Uripok areas were given anti-rabies vaccination at the program organized by Nainasang Club with District Veterinary Office in Far West. <laughs>
People will demolish the Wangjing Kodong Pokpi Sports Complex if the authorities concerned do not look into the problem and take measures to control quality in the construction of the complex within 10 days. Speaking to the media at Manipur Press Club, General Secretary of Wangjing Kodong Pokpi Sports Complex Development Committee, L. Inalmaja, said quality has not been in the construction of mini stadium and hostel. He also said the authorities concerned must look into the matter with the contractor and the representatives of the committee. <laughs> Before we end, a quick recap on the headlines. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee celebrates 128th Foundation Day of Indian National Congress. MPCC President says Congress is the only party that can deliver its promise. An Am Admi Party government sworn in, Arvind Kejriwal becomes Delhi's seventh and youngest.